So welcome back to another inventive tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to do bill of materials and how we can put that in a drawing template so that that can be printed or submitted with the work uh, for the assembly. So let's jump on in and see where we end up. So you can see straight away I've got a simple assembly that's made up of a sub-assembly and it's got some uh, uh, content center parts and uh, it's also got some uh, bolted connections in there. Uh, so we want to be able to create a bill of materials around all of these parts. So I'm going to come straight over and I'm going to uh, open up a new drawing and I'm just going to select a new drawing. Um, and this will give us a, a standard, sort of British standard uh, layout. I'm not going to ask you to fill out the boxes because that was done in the previous module when we looked at British Standard 8888. So this one is all about just creating a simple bill of materials. Um, to do that, we're just going to select the Annotate tab along the top. And in the panels, we're coming along to the one that says Parts List. Uh, and I'm just going to select the parts list and we get the pop-up of the parts list. So in uh, the in the drop down that says select document, um, if your me assembly is open up already, then when you uh, pull the drop down uh, down, it will give you the option of the main assembly, which is already open. So I'm going to select uh, that main assembly. Um, if we just do the structured, it's just going to give us the overall parent um, view of the parts, but we want all of the parts as well, so including all of the sub-assembly and, uh, and bolted connections, those type of things. So we're going to go with parts only, um, and then we'll click OK, and we'll be able to place a table uh, which will have all of the parts, and then we can actually move it around. Um, and size it to whatever we want and there is our bill of materials and you can see it's got each part labeled and the quantity of each part against the item number and then any of the um, content centers will be listed with a small description there as well uh, we've got a couple of the o-rings and other things that i've drawn separately but ultimately it's every part that's contained within that sub assembly and main assembly or parent assembly so that's Bill of Materials. Um, I hope it's been useful for you. It's part of the assignment, so it should be uh, quite a simple one to do. So check back soon for some more Inventor tutorials.